realized that a lot of moments in my life, a lot of people in my life, a lot of places in my life had been stepping stones. And as I went back and examined those stepping stones, I, there was a lot of learning for me. So I'll give you an example of one of those. Um, this may be my oldest possession, and I write about it. That turtle was a real stepping stone for me. I lift up the tiny silver turtle to dust the dresser and get stopped by a memory so strong I catch my breath. The turquoise stone in its head draws me every bit as much as it did the first day I saw it in a Charleston antique store with my mother and grandmother when I was five or six. My grandmother, Ida, loved antique shopping especially for mismatched sterling spoons for her silver collection. She never required things to match, whether on the table or in person. The palette of furniture and pillows and art in her living room and her parlor were a colorful garden. Ida always said, why would you plant only red tulips or yellow daffodils when you could delight in the whole bouquet? <laughs> The small dark object in the case was just at my eye level. Barely three inches from nose to tail, the turtle stood out to me among the larger and heavier vases and pieces of jewelry. Ida politely asked Mr. Hildebrandt, standing in his leather apron behind the counter, to let us have a closer look. In the palm of my hand, the turtle shell delighted me with an even larger turquoise stone surrounded by shiny green emeralds. His head wiggled as I touched him. <laughs> Mr. Hildebrandt came from behind the counter to reveal a secret compartment with a tiny mirror and a perfectly rounded velvety yellow powder puff. In the old days, the gentle store owner told me, a lady might attend a ball at a very elegant place. She would carry this compact in her handbag, and then she might open it in the ladies' room and discreetly powder her nose so it wouldn't shine. I love the way he talked to me like a grown-up, expecting that I, I would understand. The turtle was becoming more of a treasure each moment. How much? my grandmother asked. Twenty dollars. Even before my mother objected, I knew that was expensive. Mother, she doesn't need that. How can she grow up to love beautiful things if she doesn't have them? Asked Ida as she pulled the bills from her purse. Mr. Hildebrandt carefully wrapped the creature in tissue and put it in a small bag. I don't think it's sterling, my grandmother said to my mother as we walked to the car. But I hope it will be the first of many things to catch her attention simply because they are beautiful. I want her to understand that beauty needs no reason, no justification. I hope she will always open her hands and heart to welcome the beauty she loves. Seventy years later, I lift the tiny turtle to dust the dresser. I open the bottom of its shell transported to another place, another time. The mirror has some dark spots around its edges, and the puff has been lost in some unknown place. <laughs> I feel the same joy, the same delight, the same awe, and I thank Ida for the gift of beauty as a stepping stone, mm -hmm. a portal into this journey of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. 